every day. We ask Wall Street's brightest minds to share the word they believe will describe the trading day ahead. Jeff Kilberg, what is your WEX word of the day? My WEX word of the day, Frank, is abnormal. Abnormal is the current market conditions. And you're right, this week, it's a massive week. We have 178 S&P 500 companies reporting. If you think about what we have, this cross-section, the diversity of the different sectors, really delivering earnings report, I get excited. But it is time to tape your ankles and buckle your chin strap because here we are with better than expected earnings. However, it's a very abnormal environment. We're seeing the VIX close last Friday at 16. That could reveal some complacency. However, when you look at the sentiment, the sour sentiment, followed by some positive data, strength in the recent data, Inflation abating, I think it's a very abnormal setup, and that's going to move the market higher and bust us out of this range. We've been stuck in this range, Frank, nearly 250 trading days. We have been tethered to 4,000, the S&P 500. So I think if you look at some of the forward guidance on some of the companies, that may be the catalyst. But also, let's talk about the 800-pound gorilla in the room, the Fed. The Fed is nine days away from our meeting, and we've already seen a very type of dovish 25 basis point rate hike absolutely being priced in. All right, so I want to get back to earnings with you, Jeff, especially the earnings today. We have Coca-Cola, we have First Republic and Whirlpool. I mean, what a look at what's going on. Let's start off with First Republic. That report, what could that tell us about the banking sector that we potentially haven't learned already? Well, it could just kind of formalize and fortify the fact that we are seeing some of these mid-sized regional banks be more isolated. Yes, we saw Silicon Valley Bank really make a mistake when they were trying to match their obligations. They got a little greedy on their treasury book. They got a little bit more than greedy. They, they, they closed their bank. But nonetheless, I think it's going to give us a better, better understanding. But banks, by and large, we've seen JP Morgan, we've seen Morgan Stanley, we've seen some of these names report better than expected. And if you look at the 20% of the names that reported thus far, Frank, we've seen a better than expected beat. And that has been on average by about 6%, which is far above average. What's your quick take on Coke? Is that an accurate read on the consumer? Um, and also on what's going on in the global economy? You know, I think Coca-Cola does give us a great reading, but I want to shift to Hershey. Look at Hershey. It's been a delicious chart, Frank. If you look at the year-to-date, one year, three year, even five years, up 182%. So I look at a little bit different nuance, look through a little different lens, but Hershey is a name that is really insulated to the economic uh, headwinds. And if you see us go into recession, people still like chocolate. If you see us <laughs> not go into recession, people still like chocolate. So look at Hershey instead of Coca-Cola. But I also look at this week when you talk about Intel, you talk about Boeing, you talk about Visa. Those those are names that I consider blue chip names. Intel has had a really rough one year chart, but nonetheless, those are positions I want to add to. And lastly, let's not forget about energy. Let's not throw away energy. I know it's had a rough year to date, but last year was sensational. So look at Chevron reporting the little brother to ExxonMobil, but Chevron should have a better than expected report as we've seen energy, a lot of profit taking come into the sector. You know, Jeff, we really like to focus on something actionable for this actual trading day ahead. So are you going to put money into Chevron today? Is that where you would put your money, the energy sector? I'm adding to all these positions pre-earnings, and you can utilize that by using options. So a lot of call options, a lot of call spreads we want to own and define our risk. So yes, each and every one of these names from Visa, Intel, Boeing, and Hershey, and Chevron, we want to have exposure to because there's opportunity right now. You're seeing such mixed emotions, and people are having a hard time valuing some of these companies because they're so sensitive to the potential forward guidance of this looming recession.